I'll get there Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about a sunless tanning routine and without the harmful effects of environmental toxins and improper protection to overexposure and those harmful UV rays. So you can go from this to this. Naturally, with a fake tan, you do need that vitamin D every day. That's what he said. But it is very important for your immune system, your overall happiness, your health in general. However good the sun is, the sun is though the number one culprit for our aging process and for me now being in my late 20s I have started to notice some fine lines, started to visualize themselves on in there. I used to take the lowest SPF I could find and literally bake myself outside but it was so boring plus I was so impatient I would just lie there and after like five minutes I'd be like am I tanned yet? It's like maintenance. So my new sunless tan routine is this. I make sure that I do receive the proper vitamin D and take daily for my body. I use a non-toxic self-tanner with incredible oils, a tinted moisturizer with SPF, and then sometimes, sometimes if I want to look extra bronze, I'm going to put on a bronzer. I do find though that there is a very fine line between looking tan and then looking like you rolled over in a bag of Cheetos. I'm definitely that type of person who wears their, their tan like a badge of honor. Look how healthy I am. Step one, exfoliation. You can either wax, shave, or use scrub, but exfoliate no matter what because it removes the surface layer of dead skin cells, preparing those pores for moisture and product. And there is a reason why whatever you put on your skin after you exfoliate, you want it to be non-toxic because you've just created a direct quick passage to your bloodstream and you don't want any of those nasties on in there. Mm -mm. So to exfoliate, I currently use um, I wax if it's time, or if not, I use Indie Lee's Coconut Citrus Body Scrub, and then I'll exfoliate my face with the same turmeric mask I made in my skincare video because turmeric is a natural coloring agent. Adding to the tan, and it has tons of other benefits. Step two, I'm going to use a light body moisturizer that's either water or oil based. Butters and balms are usually too thick to let the self tanner soak in really quickly, it usually takes a lot more time. And I'm using a lotion as a catalyst for the self tanner to help it apply evenly, especially around those dry areas like the elbows. So I'm either using a lotion that smells like this coconut dream, or if you don't need such a heavy lotion and you want a lighter moisturizer, uh, you could try Karina Organics, it's really light. Step three. Now it's time to actually self tan our bodies. First is an invisible tan. Wait, I want it to be invisible. Either way, you get plenty of uses out of it, especially when you're mixing it with a moisturizer. It extends the the lifespan of it even longer. So I will use this all over my body as well as my face. The second that I will use is the face tan water. It's 44 Canadian dollars. It has a revolutionary anti-aging and anti-acne formulation, specifically great for those with oily skin. And I only put this on when I need like a quick tick tick ready in the morning, before the cream or just on its own. It's easily absorbs and it shows up a little bit faster than the cream does, I find. I find. But I just like to leave it on as long as possible because I want to be tanned. <laughs> if you're not into lotions because I know not everybody is, they do offer other products I know that, like body mousses, cleansing foams, body milks, salt scrubs. Another healthy self tanner that I know of, but I've yet to try, is called Chocolate Sun. And they're actually really known for mastering the brown in the self tanner and not like the orangey tone that makes a lot of us look like pumpkins at the time. It's true, come on. So after one full day, aka one full 24 hours, I will repeat the entire process minus the exfoliation first, reapply in the lotion, mix with moisturizer to prevent the streaking, remember. Make sure to wipe away between your fingers and your toes though. They are a dead giveaway. Honestly, some of you may feel like you only need one application, especially if you apply more than I did and don't mix it with the lotion, but I just really want to look like I was away on vacation. And now you're seeing me on my final day. This is day three. Healthy. Vibrant. Blood. Step four. Time to get ready for my day. I find that when I'm really tanned, I don't need to wear as much makeup and uh, we need less evidence to hide the fact that I've been tired since 2012. Okay. These bags are totally designed, though. You probably have heard of them. Genetic. And now, always protect my skin with an SPF, though, no matter what or where I go. And I'm able to do this with a slightly tinted moisturizer. Make sure that you get a few shades darker than your actual skin, so that when you spread it out all over your face, it actually acts as a full bronzer. So I'm going to use the same skincare booster that I used in my video, my skincare video. I got the shade Medium Golden. It's a little bit light for me now, so I adjusted it. It soaks in so quickly, though. It contains zinc, titanium dioxide, mica, all natural SPF, while coloring while correcting the color naturally too. So. And step five, or it could be part of step four, uh, which is what I did, 
adding the illuminating oil it's from Free Love Beauty called Sun Child available on Etsy links below in my description it's a highly concentrated potion it can be used alone for the maximum potency or you can add it to other moisturizers or oils for an added boost of sparkle glow so eats beautiful skin eat, eat 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 step six the final step I swear I just want to add some dimension to my face make it look even more bronze you don't have to do step four five and six you don't wear any makeup but either way I'm gonna do it so this is a vapor bronzer from or vapor organics it is called a solder bronzer in the shade simmer I would put this on my cheeks where I would normally contour and the top of my head where the sun would naturally come down and kiss the forehead anyway all right to my sun kissed babies that is all I have those are all my secrets and how I can achieve a naturally fake tan. Ultimately, what I'm doing here is slowing down my aging process. It's gonna happen anyway, I'm just trying to make it more graceful. Last words of wisdom. Stay up to hang as much as possible. And always wear a minimum of SPF 15, which just stands for how many minutes of protection you're actually getting. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your loved ones. Hit the like button just below here. I do value each and every one of you who has taken the time to watch my videos. Every single like counts. I love sharing this knowledge with you and I hope that you are inspired to evaluate your relationship to your skin and to the sun. So, with lots of love, warmth, light, I bid you adieu.